Oyagala mukuru ku gwenja olugobere ne bijukize mu nyumba yo. Kankwa njulire Backing Montage Photo Studio. Fiba kafuru mukube bifananyi. No call of video. Oli na wedding, birthday party, kuchala, nika, baby shower, photo shoot oba music shoot. Na buli kimu kyo nacho oyagala. Fetu subulu kuwe bijukize ebirungi. Ebi biroto byo. Ate no mwana watu kusintize omuntu wa buli jo. Tusange bonna nkula bikubitala ku Prime Tower, Level 3, Room D04. Okumanya bisingawo. Tukubire ku namba zino. Note musavu note biri, emu note nya, emu biri tano. Oba, noti musavu tano tano, satu emu emu, musavu satu emu, oba, noti musavu musavu musavu, noti bili satu, nya noti tano. King Montage Photo Studio, fitu sobolo kuwe bijukize bironji, atenu mwana watu kusinti izo mtu waburi jo. Apple iPhone vs Samsung Galaxy Mobile Phones iPhone 12 or Galaxy S21. Find out which flagship mobile phone is worth your money. Apple iPhone vs Samsung Galaxy S we narrow down some of the most important smartphone features and pit these two tech behemoths against each other to help you find your perfect fit. Apple's iPhones have come a long way since the rounded, plastic-backed iPhone first released in 2007. Newer models now take on a sleeker glass and stainless steel design that aim to turn heads. One distinguishing feature of iPhones is the notch at the top, this houses the front camera and face unlock sensor, and though it has become quite iconic, doesn't appeal to everyone. Like Apple, Samsung's Galaxy smartphones have veered away from the plastic design. The S6 Edge was the first of its models to feature its innovative dual-edge display in 2015, and the range has evolved since with larger displays and thinner bezels. Samsung now uses more subtle hole-punch front cameras, a small hole to house the lens rather than a notch, which can make the display seem more immersive. In both cases, expect some of the very latest screen technologies, with high resolutions, sharp images, and accurate colors. There's rarely much to choose from on this front. Screen Size and Resolution Apple offers three versions of the iPhone 13. The 13 and 13 Pro actually have the same size display, 6.1 inches, and the same resolution, 1170 x 2532. The iPhone 13 Max is larger, with a 6.7 inch screen and 1284 x 2778 resolution. Samsung takes a slightly different approach. Its standard S21 has a 6.2 inch display, 1080 x 2400, and the S21 Plus bumps this to 6.7 inches, with the same resolution. The S21 Ultra boasts a 6.8 inch display and 1440 x 3200 resolution. The two phones have differing display types. The newest iPhones have a Super Retina XDR OLED display while Samsung's new models come with dynamic AMOLED displays. AMOLED displays allow control over each individual pixel, which in theory produces better picture quality. AMOLEDs also have better overall power consumption than OLEDs, but can use more power when displaying brighter colors and aren't as visible in sunlight as OLED displays. One of the most important factors for many people is handset size, but bear in mind that with different screen-to-body ratios, physical dimensions are a better indicator of this than display size. Camera Cameras are what drive demand for many high-end phones, and neither Samsung or Apple shirk their responsibilities when it comes to pushing the boundaries of technology. Like on the iPhone 12, Apple has continued to embrace the benefits of multiple lenses and includes a 12MP wide and 12MP ultra wide on the iPhone 13. The 13 Pro adds an additional 12MP telephoto lens and a TOF, time of flight, lens to help improve photo effects. All three models also have a 12MP selfie camera. Samsung has a three-lens array on the standard S21, a 12MP wide, 64MP telephoto, and 12MP ultra-wide. This is the same as the Pro, but the Ultra gets a boost with a 108MP wide-angle lens, 10MP periscope telephoto lens, 10MP telephoto lens and 12MP ultra-wide lens. Samsung Galaxy loyalists can make use of Scene Optimizer to automatically adjust and improve scene quality when the camera recognizes the object or scene in the frame. Modes include food, animals, greenery, beaches, and sunsets. 
Apple is no slouch in the camera department either, it offers a range of genuinely useful and dramatic post-processing effects to enhance your photos. You'll find features such as Smart HDR, blending multiple photos for the best shot, and the ability to change the depth of field of images after they've been taken. Whichever of the two smartphones you opt for, rest assured both Apple and Samsung are right up there when it comes to some of the best and most advanced camera technology. Storage Apple users have long dealt with the woes of running out of space on their phone. iPhones don't come with a micro SD card to expand internal storage, so you need to think carefully about storage configuration before you buy. This year Samsung users join them, none of the new S21 range have a micro SD card slot to expand storage. Deciding how much you'll need before you buy is therefore important. The iPhone 13 and Samsung models start at 128 GB capacity, which should be enough for most. At the top end, the S21 Ultra is available with 512 GB of storage, and the iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max go up to 1 TB. Operating System Famous for its in-house expertise, Apple iPhones use the iOS operating system. It may not be as much as of a behemoth as Android but iOS is owned by Apple, meaning that the manufacturer has more control over producing updates, security patches, and rolling these updates out to its devices, than users of Google's Android operating system. Samsung is the biggest smartphone brand in the world and the largest smartphone manufacturer running on the Android operating system. Samsung Galaxy devices are typically launched with the newest version of Android software. To optimize the use of its devices, Samsung has one UI, an operating system skin to overlay Android that offers a range of visual and functional improvements. Value for money When it comes to these two tech titans, their premium smartphone ranges sit very close to each other in price. For the first time in 2018, the iPhone toppled over the £1,000 threshold, making it one of the most expensive smartphones ever made. For those looking for a better deal with the iPhones, Apple had introduced the iPhone XR, £749, as a less expensive alternative to the iPhone XS, £999, and XS Max, £1,099. It has maintained the same structure with the iPhone 13 range. At release, the iPhone 13 costs £779, the 13 Pro £949, and the Pro Max £1,049. Samsung's Galaxy range is a, slightly, less painful purchase. The Samsung Galaxy S12 costs £769 at launch, the S21 Plus £949, and the S21 Ultra and eye-watering £1,329. Oyagala omukuru ku gwenja olugo bere ne bijukize mu nyumba yo kan kwanjulire backing montage photo studio fiba kafulu mukube bifananyi no color video olina wedding birthday party kuchala nika baby shower photo shoot or music shoot na buli chimu chona cho oyagala fetu subulu ku bijukize bironji eri biroto byo ati no mwana watu kusintize omuntu wa buli jo tusange bonna nkula bikubitala ku prime tower level 3 room d04 okumanya bisingawo tukubira ku namba zino note musavu note 2 emu note nya emu 2 Oba, noti musavu tano tano, satu emu emu, musavu satu emu, oba, noti musavu musavu musavu, noti bili satu, inya noti tano, King Montage Photo Studio, fitu sabolo kuwe bijukize bironji, ate no mwana watu kusinti zomu tuwabuli joe.